What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, we're going to do a quick dive through the new scoreboard rewards for Season 15, the big score. And as a reminder, normally Bethesda will take Fallout 76 offline around 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning of the day of the update. So make sure, friends, to get the Season 14 done if you haven't already. Let's get in here. We're just going to do a quick run through of these at rank two. You are going to be getting a perk card pack. And if, if you have Fallout first, you're going to be able to get a Nuka Cola mix pack. At rank three, we are getting a poker paint for the combat shotgun. At rank four, a lucky seven player icon. And if you have Fallout first, you're getting three lunch boxes. At rank five, you are going to be getting a stack of cards to put at your camp, which looks absolutely amazing. It goes really well with the theme. At rank six, you get a six pack of Nuka Cola. So, you know, Nuka grenades are if you're just feeling a little bit of thirst and you want some of that spare cap that you get just from drinking a Nuka Cola. There you go, friends. And if you have Fallout first, you also get the Circuit Breaker player icon, which, by the way, is the new pistol and it looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try it out. At rank seven, you're going to be getting a set of boxing gloves to hang on your wall. So some wall decor at rank eight, we are getting a peek into the power armor paint. So this is going to be for the T45, the jackpot power armor paint looks absolutely wonderful. Oh, OK. So at rank eight, they are introducing a ultra sight supply crate. For Fallout first members, a crate full of radioactive ore for all of your ultra sight needs. Well, I have to see how many's in there. That's a that's strange. I mean, that hey, that could be pretty cool. At rank nine, we are getting three scout banners. At rank ten, a hundred and fifty atoms. And then also, if you have Fallout first, you are going to get the King of Clubs poster. So I'm expecting there to be more of these in there. But that absolutely cool looks cool as a wall decor. And I wonder if there's going to be a lighted version of these as well. So at rank eleven, yep. Rank 11, it just blend in right there with that, uh, you know, caps. You get 500 caps. Rank 12, just in time for the holiday season, you get a holiday tree, tree flare display. Show off your backpack. Oh, that's actually really cool. So we'll be able to show off our flare on a tree. Okay, okay. And for rank 12, if you have follow first, you get 100 free script. Let's go. Rank 13, the fixer and the combat rifle is getting the poker paint. Rank 14, four kings playing card rugs. Okay, so that, look, hey, we're getting rugs, we're getting wall decor, getting some floor decor. Sounds great to me. At rank 14, for Fallout First members, we're getting three carry weight bonuses. Let's go. Rank 15, three legendary modules. Which you're going to be getting legendary modules like crazy because you're going to be running the new expedition, right? I know I am. At rank 15, you also get the 5% uh, score boost, which is absolutely amazing for Fallout First players. At rank 16, we're going to be getting five stamps. At rank 17, we're getting a poker chip stool. Oh, that that might look absolutely cool to be sitting at a camp. I was really hoping there would be like a new currency with chips since it is Atlantic City. Maybe we'll see that in the part two update to this. And for Fallout first members, you get three free rerollers at rank 17. And the jackpot excavator power armor paint at rank 18. At 19, we get a score booster, which those are always great and wonderful to use if you use them properly. Rank 19, you're also going to get the red and yellow H&H &H tool scrap box, which that's just going to be nice to have a little bit of variation for Fallout First members. At rank 20, we're getting 150 atoms. Then at rank 21, we are going to be getting 1,000 caps, and you get a 100 gold bullion if you are a Fallout First member. I saw this in the trailer that they put out. I'll have a link to that in the description below. But at rank 22, you get a safe door, which looks absolutely amazing. Rank 23, you get this poker paint for the chainsaw, which definitely looks good. But I probably will keep the Halloween paint that I have on mine from last year. Uh, at rank 23, for Fallout First members, you get five legendary modules. At 24, you get a Conqueror player icon. And at 25... I'll have a link down below to Duchess Flames Twitter post where they go over this company tea kettle. It is absolutely amazing, and you definitely do not want to miss that, y'all. But that's at rank 25. At rank 26, we get a mystery bobblehead box. Find out your collection with a random bobblehead thanks to your friends at Vault Tech. Now, I don't, I don't think I ever want to open this if we can actually open it. I think I just want to display that and just, just have it displayed because that's absolutely cool. I love the look of that box. 
Uh, at rank 26 for Fallout First members, we get the Casino Carpet Floor and Foundations. Looks really cool. I definitely like it, like green, you know, I, like it It looks good. It's green and yellow. It, it's it got the, you know, poker symbols on there. Okay. At 27, we get an Elegant Chandelier. At uh, 28 is the T-51 for the Jackpot Power Armor Paint. At 28, we get three Scout Banners. At 29, 100 script. 30, we get 150 atoms. At rank 30 for Fallout First, you get a red gangster fedora. Okay. You know, at 31, we get a hundred gold bullion. Now I may be speaking a little bit too soon, but y'all, we haven't we haven't seen any like flip-flop text yet. This is this is pretty cool. Um, rank 32, the jackpot photo frame. I don't think I'll ever use it, but you know what? It'll be nice to have. Maybe if we ever actually hit a jackpot, then we can take a picture with the jackpot photo frame. The rank 32 for Fallout First members, the score booster. Oh, now, th oh, now this is going to be wonderful. You may not like this, like, paint, but it's going to be absolutely wonderful to be able to paint the plasma gun in Enclave at rank 33 with a poker paint. Because guess what? It's probably going to be Atom Shop. It's not going to be tradable. And that means that we can't accidentally script one of those like enclave plasma like flamers or anything like that that's going to be wonderful uh rank 34 you can get three re-rollers rank 34 for fallout first members you get a uh, five stamps rank 35 this is where it is the circuit breaker it will be lights out for your enemies when you wield this charged up legendary pistol now i don't know if you're going to be able to re-roll the effects on this or if it's going to be a set amount but hey once we get there we'll figure it out and we'll try it out and have some fun with it at rank 36, we're going to have three lunch boxes. Rank 36 for Fallout First members, we're going to have the blue nine ball table. So it looks kind of like the table that we had previously. So it's just going to be a different variation of that. Oh, though at rank 37, we actually get the pool hall rack. So that'll be good to throw up on the wall. Um, hey, I'm, I'm okay with it. At 38, it's the T60 jackpot power armor paint. At 38, for Fallout First members, we get the gambler photo mode frame, which, hey, you know, you could take with friends. 39, you get a level 3 Vault-Tex supply crate. Let's go. 40 is 150 atoms. Rank 40, you get, for Fallout First members, you get the diamond paint. Ooh. I do like that diamond paint look, though. Though I do really like just the normal paint on the, like, circuit breaker in comparison. I, I, I do like that they're going ahead and giving us and paint poker paint for that too uh so at 41 we get a thousand caps 42 we get a scrap kit and if you have fallout first you get 250 script rank 43 you get a poker paint for the circuit breaker 44 the ace of diamonds poster so that's moving up into how we were talking about before uh rank 44 we get the red gangster suit outfits to go along with that hat at 45 we get the grand marble staircase 46 carry weight times three let's go 46 we're uh fallout first gold bullion 47 window blinds, uh, 48 is the X01 uh, power armor paint for the jackpot, 48 for Fallout First, we get re-rollers, we get three of them, 49, we got 150 atoms, rank 50, 25 perk coins, that's going to be nice for a lot of players working on their legendary perk cards, at rank 50 for Fallout First, you get an extra 10%, so on top of that 5%, you get 10%, making it 15% score boost. Uh, so let's go into 51. We get 150 atoms at 52. Ruby and Alex player icon at 52. Oh, let's go. We got the mounted dollfish head. Let's go for Fallout First members. That's going to be wonderful to put up on the wall. At rank 53, poker paint for the Gauls mini gun. 54 legendary modules times five. We get five of them. Uh, let's see. Rank 54 for the Fallout First members. You get the blackout paint which kind of looks like the normal paint, but there looks to be a little bit of blue in there. I like that. At rank 55, we get the Trident, which I guess maybe goes on the pitchfork, or maybe, no, it, it says put fear into the hearts of Mirelurks when you wield the Trident. Is this going to be like a new weapon that we get to, or is this like a, just a skin on like a pitchfork or something like that? Hey, look, if it's a new weapon, I'll definitely, I'll definitely craft it up and try it out. 56, we get the Jack of Spades poster. 56 for Fallout First, we get six scrap kits. 57, oh, this will be a nice one to have at a camp. At 57, we get the Pirate Chest Stash Box. Okay, 58, the Ultra Sight Jackpot Power Armor Paint. At 58 for Fallout First members, another five stamps. 59, we get a score booster. 60, we get 150 atoms. And rank 60, we get 250 gold bullion for Fallout First members. At 61, we get 250 script. 
62. We get another Ultra Sight Supply Crate. 62 for Fallout First. We got the Gazebo Survival Tent. Oh, now what is going to be in that Survival Tent, I wonder? Because I haven't heard anything about that. I have not like paid really any attention to this because I'm trying to go in as blind as possible uh, with all of this. Rank 63, we got the Poker Paint for the Gatlin Plaz. 64, we got the Jack and Diane. Uh, God, now, now, yeah, hey, congrats. Now you got... Now you got the song stuck in your head because I just stopped just so you could get the song stuck in your head. That way I'm not the only one. At 64 for Fallout First, we get five extra carry weight boosters. Let's go. 65, we got the heist plan board. You know, a little Ocean's Eleven action. Rank 66, we got three scout banners. 66 uh, for Fallout First, we get a forklift. Now I wonder what that is going to be because we just got the cement truck. 67, we get a piece of backpack flare, the red and black poker chip. 67, we get five uh, nuclear key cards for Fallout First members. At 68, we have the Hellcat jackpot paint. 69, we get the Queen of Hearts poster. 69 for Fallout First, 250 script. And at 70, we get 150 atoms. 71, we're getting five lunch boxes. 71 for Fallout First, get the interrogation chair. Ooh, I kind of like that. Kind of looks a little bit, little. you know what? To go along with that uh, that little barber chair that we have, that actually might be pretty cool. Uh, 72, 100 bullion. 73, the Ultrasight Gatlin lasers uh, are going to be getting a, a poker paint as well. Uh, 73 for Fallout First members, five legendary modules. Uh, let's see, 74, we get the King and Queen player icon. 75, 250 gold bullion for Fallout First members. We get another 10% taking the 5 and 10 and combining it with another 10, meaning 25% score boost. This is where you absolutely shoot up the scoreboard and rankings when you are a Fallout First member. Rank 76, the heart-shaped bed. 77, the scout banner times 3. 77 for Fallout First members, the jackpot ammo storage box. The 78 is going to be the jackpot power armor paint for the T-65. Uh, let's see, 79, five stamps, 79 fallout first, 250 gold bullion, 80, 150 atoms. Then for uh, 80, for fallout first, circus vending machine. Oh, I'm wondering what kind of, oh, they had to put the clown there. I absolutely love that. I wonder what kind of sound's going to be coming out of that. Okay. Uh, so, oh, wait, we get another mystery bobblehead box. Okay. Uh, so maybe that's just a thing that we're going to be able to, like, get now, maybe? I don't know. Uh, at 81, we're getting 2,500 caps. 82, we get the Poker Den wallpaper. 82, we get three perk card packs, which is going to be awesome if they do actually put in the one-star animated cards for your perk cards, uh, because they took those out a very long time ago, but the wording in the PTS notes made mention that they may be bringing it back with this December the 5th update. We will definitely let you know if that's a thing. We'll definitely make a video on it if it is, and we'll we'll probably pull all of our cards on stream. Uh, 83, we get the po poker paint for the auto grenade launcher. 84, we get nuke key cards times five. For 84, for Fallout First, we're getting a gold poker chip backpack flare. 85, we're getting a heist bag backpack. Oh, that kind of looks pretty cool with the money coming out. I wonder if it's kind of like just kind of floating there. A 86 not locked behind Fallout First is the weather control station for the Atlantic City Boardwalk. I love the look of this weather station and I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Bethesda. Thank you so much, Double Eleven, for not locking this behind Fallout First. I think this is something that everyone out there in the wasteland definitely needs to have a chance to be able to earn. At 86, we're getting the Fallout First reward of five repair kits. 87, we're getting the re-roller. Oh, right, let's three, three of them. Uh, at 87 for Fallout First, Poker Chips Photo Mode Frame. 88, the Union Jackpot uh, Power Armor. I definitely like my rusted uh, metal one that I still have. 88 for Fallout First, a Mystery Bobblehead Box. 89, a Marble Floor and Foundations, which actually, that might look really good at a camp. Uh, 90, 150 atoms. 90 for Fallout First, Slot Bot Stein Display. Okay, that'd be cool if you could actually utilize that. Uh, 91, a diamond dress outfit, 250 script at rank 92. At 92 for Fallout First members, 250 gold bullion. At 93, gambler's gold stein. 94, marine salvage display frame. Ooh, now that looks good, especially with the Atlantic theme. And it's not locked behind Fallout First. Let's go. 95, five repair kits. 95, Fallout First, the white modern home kitchen set. 96, the dealer Mr. Fuzzy Plushy. 
97, the 250 gold bullion. 98, the perk coins. We got 50 of them. 98, five more lunchboxes for Fallout First members. 99, the pre-war money firewood. Oh, that is absolutely cool. And at rank 100, you get the Conqueror Power Armor Paint. That looks absolutely amazing. The big score player icon, the big score game board. Rank 100, 500 atoms. And the Fallout First is the Pavilion Kit. That looks absolutely amazing. Still, this has not been updated. I'm expecting this to update potentially tomorrow around lunchtime. So when it does and I get home from work, we'll make a video if I have time before stream going over this. But we'll definitely have a community post about that. Y'all, let me know your thoughts on the scoreboard rewards. Are you happy that Bethesda did not lock the weather station behind Fallout First? I know personally, I am absolutely excited for that. I didn't see any like... 500 atoms with a caps photo or anything like that this time so absolutely amazing I, i'm 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 down with it you caught those little mistakes that we always point out so thank you so much for that but y'all thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out hopefully you have a great wonderful day out there in the wasteland friends and i'd love to thank our channel members frugan just jay curb cross blood sebastian nova prophet zach crm blaze mataz bud cranberry relish gravy train i am mr me not you quinn indy andy warren coma patrick super loki mexley katie ghost petty lewis force james purple day stabby hokey Bo, alex alejandro crab king articular mike vermilion george labyrinth ian jesse zen turkey Vicky, Ready Star 2X, POTUS Gaming, Sky Crusher, Space Zero, Early, Ozzy, Bay, Valerie, Aratho, Nick, RHPSD20, Jenny. Thank you so much for supporting us out here in the Wasteland. Friends, y'all have a great and wonderful day, and we'll catch you in the Wasteland later. Peace, y'all.